What's good? It's your boy Azzy. I was representing out of the Pure Lava Show. You know I comment on any and everything on YouTube. I want to big up to AV Jam 2000. Definitely for the interview with Movado. Um, yo, Movado, he's definitely doing his thing. It just, it's time to hear the, the wars going on between the Caribbean people because it's so hard for Caribbean music to bust throughout the world. So for the for the war that's going on, that's like small-minded, but... um. One thing about Movado, Movado, he, he's talented, definitely. I just hope that he can maintain and, and, and um, not get sucked up into the the, the hype of of um, the the um, the gangster the gangster life. As far as you know, what I'm saying, because that's how you have negative people around you just fill your head with a whole bunch of stuff and some he say she say, and you start believing in and getting paranoid and start drifting away and going another route instead of sticking to what you started out with and that was speaking from your heart when i first saw Movado, like i heard his music gangster for life but when i first saw him or was on an interview with lyric dvd i want to big up alex on that one um it was lyric dvd magazine and he was by himself and he was just talking and vibing out and you could tell like he's a person that's been through a lot. You could tell through the music that he's been through a lot because you hear the anger, you hear the pain, you hear the suicidal thoughts. You know what I said? The suicidal thoughts. I hear it all in the music. You know what I mean? He's definitely a talent. He's definitely talented. He's definitely, um, when he writes his music, he writes it from the heart. You know what I mean? But I hope that he stick to writing it from the heart and not drift and start writing animation or 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 or, or some type of um, imagination line. I mean, lyrics. You know, being a gangster is speaking the truth and not scared to speak the truth and being yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because anybody could be gangster. And gangster doesn't mean you shooting up somebody, killing somebody. No, gangster is mean is you fighting what you believe in. And you ain't scared to go, and if you're not scared to fight in what you believe in, you know what I mean, which is the right thing. A man that's taking care of his family, he's gonna work hard. He's gangster. He's gonna work hard to provide his family, even if he have to do three jobs. That's gangster. You know what I'm saying? If somebody's, um, you know, helping somebody that's in need. That's gangster. You know what I mean? So. You know, Movado, he writes. I, it's a song that he wrote. I like all his songs, but this is one song he wrote, and I thought it was it was real cool. It was um, a song about his father. It's like a song that he, he, he dedicated to his father, y'all. I thought that was, that was deep, you know? I'm a real I'm a real dude. I mean, I have a lot of friends, and I have gangster friends like that, that will fight you, and I have, I have all type of friends, but one thing about it is I'm a real dude. I roll by myself, or sometimes it could be me and my partner but some, a lot of times I roll by myself I go through the roughest hoods and neighborhoods and everything I, I saw Movado, Movado perform he came to I mean one I missed it with, in Brooklyn and one of them was um what the one I did miss was um Trooper Chalupa birthday party down with us on exclusive radio it was his birthday party the other one where I really saw him was that um, Steely Bashman um birthday party you know so I was on the stage and everything, and I just looked at him, you know what I mean? And when I looked at him, I could see, like, I don't know, it's just something like, he's not happy. It's like a part of him that you look at him, he's just, like, not happy. He's tired about something. I don't know if it's about, I don't know. He just look like he's not happy, you know what I'm saying? But, yo, be yourself. That's, yo, people, let me let y'all know something. There's nothing wrong with being yourself. You don't have to put on a front. You don't have to impress anybody. You don't have to prove anything to no one but yourself. That's all. You know what I mean? Because when you're down and out, it's only you that you have to look at in the mirror. You know what I mean? If you're young, it's your family that's going to help you out. If you're old, it's your family that's going to help you out. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's you that have to look at yourself. You know what I mean? So do the right thing, push hard, and and um, learn to um, 
just learn to, to appreciate yourself, you know what I mean, regardless of what's around you. I have all type of people that hang around me, all type of people that don't affect me. Let me tell you a, a true story, yo. You know, when I, when I was younger, like in my 20s, yo, I got, a, I got um, you know, locked up or whatever. So when we was in the, in the, in the cell, everybody, you know, I, I mean, for those that don't know about being you know, locked up, you know what I'm saying, for me it was only a short period of time, just a short, short, short period of time. But people was in the cell talking about, um, yo, I, I robbed this and I did that. I stood there, I listened to it. Everybody, I mean everybody, just talking stupidness. So I sat there and I turned around and said, yo, you know what? Y'all a-holes. I said, what? They looked at me and said, what? I'm by myself, mind you. I'm by myself. They said, what? So you know why? Because we all got caught and we locked in here. And then I just turned my head. And I just said, yo, I, ain't, I said it real loud. I ain't never coming back in here again. You crazy? Be caged in here like a little animal. Of course, my case got dismissed, dropped, and all that other stuff, thanks to my mother. Well, my friends wasn't around. I mean, my, my so-called friends wasn't around. When I cut, came out, they was like, oh, we missed you. Please. My mother is the one that stood by me crying and all that other stuff. Would stay in the courtroom till the, from morning to, to nighttime. You know what I mean? But it was then and there, I realized. <laughs> Yo. It's me that I got to look in the mirror. Who, who am I impressing? Who am I trying to... Who, who, who am I trying to prove something to? Like to show that I'm gangster on the street? Get the hell out of here, man. Because when you... You know what? When you get put in that position where you get caught out there, guess what? It's you and your mother or your father or whoever that's going to come and be by your side and sweat it out. The so-called friends... It's not going to be there because you know why? It's called out of sight, out of mind. So, Mavado, I hope this dude on some realness. Just keep it real with yourself. You know what I mean? Part of being part, part of being gangster is not, afraid, not, not being afraid to stand on your own two feet and to realize that and just show love to everybody. That's, that's it. You know, enjoy what you do. Have fun in the art of what you do. That's it. That's it. And I'm glad to say I got a good job, of course, a good city job, because you can't have a, a, a criminal record, you know what I mean? So, they, yo, I thank my moms for that. I got a good city job, though. And I, and I love what I do in the entertainment business. I love it, so it's good. <laughs> anyway, that's all I want to comment on. Movado doing this thing, AV Jam 2000. Keep putting out the footage. Definitely, you're doing your thing. Definitely. Anyways, why is the Oz representing on the Pure Lava Show? You know, I comment on any and everything on YouTube. You can hit me up at myspace.com slash O-Z-Z-I-E hype. That's Ozzy hype. Or hit him up on the crime, Ricky Indian at R-S-E-K-Y Indian. Or y'all can contact me at 718-954-2629. That's how I go. Like I always say, never, never, never give up. Live life to the fullest. Enjoy your life and smile because it's good for the soul. Everybody have a good day. And remember, be yourself. Be yourself. There's nothing wrong with being yourself. Learn to stand on your own two feet. Whatever you do now is going to affect your future. Live by that. So do the right thing now. Work hard. And trust me, at the end of the day, the light will shine on you.